Now, if anyone catches me doing this, they'll notice that I'll actually have the speed way up. Why is the speed so fast, Renee? Because chances are, if I'm reading something that is very long in length, I might need to get through it really quickly. And the benefit of me being able to listen to it is that I listen faster than I read. Now, that I will attribute to, and I've said this before, to singing in the choir. We went from having three rehearsals a week to two rehearsals a week to at times one rehearsal a week. That meant any new songs that we learned, we had to learn them quick because we would have to sing them like we've known them for a long time on that Sunday. And so speeding up the reading allowed me to cover more ground with my reading task than if I sat there by myself and read. Other things that I adopted included highlighting PDFs, highlighting in my Kindle, highlighting books in my my digital library on my phone, on my computer, or on my iPad, or on my laptop so that I can keep track of important things that I needed to go back to when I needed to reference the text in a paper or in class. I would also include questions that I would have as I read in the margins so that I could ask them aloud once I got to class. Now, whether that was to find out the instructor perspectives on the matter or pose the question to my classmates to see what they thought or just share a question that came to mind. Perhaps it's one that can't be answered, but if I had the chance to ask the author, that's something that I would ask. And those types of questions and notes can be reused when thinking about writing a response to a test prompt or a writing prompt for a paper or a discussion board.